discussed it yesterday, we have overall 38% of our employees are female. Our target is 50, so we are on the way. So. Having me as an ally, um, what motivates me, and uh, I would like to share with you my, my, my personal story. So when I started about, uh, I think it's more than 12 years back in DHL Consulting, and I took it over, my whole partner group were men, and they were all male, and same for, for the whole group. And uh, I worked before in, in corporate, and I had a more diverse team, and uh, I do fully, fully believe in, in diverse teams, and that they are more innovative, more creative, uh, harder to, to lead, but much better in, in the outcome. It's hard work, so it just do not happen by incident. So we, we really looked at all our processes and we drive diversity in all of them. So we started with a recruiting process and we found out that we were discriminating non-Germans and also females because our recruiting process looked a lot and was valuing some of the uh, behavioral um, areas women normally don't show. So we changed our recruiting process, we changed our criteria, and we really went through the whole journey and looked at are we biased? Is our, uh, our process is discriminating and changed it. So I do think we are missing female role models. So I would ask all female uh, leaders uh, to step out of the comfort zone or your comfort zone and uh, role model. I do think we can do a lot for females coming and we can role model also female leadership, which is in some areas different to male leadership. And I think we need to do it more, uh, but also for, for all the male colleagues, role model inclusion uh, and have diverse teams, higher diverse teams. I think it's not easy, but it's worth it.